to soul of the city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Soul of the City presented by First Touch Media. Today we are going to be talking about probably our most thrilling result of the season, not in a good way necessarily. Uh, we drew four to four against Portland Timbers in what was a kind of violent and uh, entertaining affair. Uh, Jonah, Muhammad, how are we doing? Terrible. Uh, <laughs> I'll say good. Go ahead, Mo. I thought it was going to be our first away win of the season. That is an absolute tragedy, the fact that we do not have one of those, but I am not surprised by that at all. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, in this game we rolled out, I guess what we, I think all of us would consider probably our, our top lineup of Berkey and goal, who we can talk about later, didn't have the, the greatest of performances. Um, Totland at right back. Kessler getting his, his uh, debut for the squad in the MLS. Uh, Kyle Hebert, Jay Reed on the left. Uh, Edu Leuven, Chris Durkin uh, playing the kind of holding midfield. Thorson, Tukert, and Hartel making up the midfield three in front of that as the attacking midfield. And then Betcher gets the start. Uh, I know some people were talking about Klaus possibly coming back into the team, but he didn't even make it on the, the reserves in this one. So I think we're still waiting on that one. What do you guys think of the lineup? Any changes you'd make? I think it's probably our best we can put out. Yeah, yeah I mean, really the only question I feel like was at center back if Kessler was going to start or not. Um, and, you know, the commentators said that Hackworth said he was training really well. Um, but also, you know, he probably has the freshest legs. Um because he, he couldn't play for League's Cup. So I'm glad we got to see him. Um, I was personally surprised, I guess, that uh, Jan's Horn didn't play, um, either at left back over Jaden Reed or at center back over Hebert. Um, I guess, I don't know, he is a lone player. Maybe he's not a priority to get minutes. Uh, what do you guys think? I think they're just trying to give him maybe maybe a little bit more time to kind of bed into to the league, and it's kind of not an area of need right now. Like we don't, not that we couldn't upgrade our defenders. Like our, our left back has been a, a problem area forever, and center back, you know, I don't want Kyle Hebert starting, but he did just come from from Bundesliga two, um, and it isn't an area where we have to start him like Hartel and Tuker and uh, Betcher are where we just like we literally have to play you you got to produce or not regardless of what happens you're out there yeah a nice little so, cameo 30 minutes played or four around 40 with extra time uh i thought he played pretty decent pretty well for his first game nothing you know out of the ordinary anything like that um i think he had a i think he had like a nice little double like block on on a corner late in the game that ended up like popping around the box and he blocked the initial shot and then blocked the second shot that, that could have gone into the goal when, when Berkey, uh, he probably had his worst day with his hands in this one, in my opinion. Uh, dude was just, I don't, I don't even know if it was raining or anything, but dude couldn't catch a cold. Like he was just bobbling everything. And, and to be fair on the night, he played excellent other than handling the ball. Like, the shot stopping was incredible on the evening. He, he probably saved us from losing this comfortably. Um, but he also, like, is at fault for one of the goals directly because he, he bobbles the, uh, the Evander shot, which Mora ends up sticking in the back of the net on the rebound. But we can start at, at kind of the, the first... I well, guess. you also are forgetting the uh, the other bobble where Mora reacted first, and he got a shot off, and Kessler somehow dove oh, and yeah, blocked yeah, yeah. it into the crossbar. So he could have very easily lost us this game. Yes, very true. I, I just, you know, he is great, and I hope that he's not, like, I mean, he got a 5.0 match rating on the day. Like, that's, that's pretty, pretty awful for a goalie. Like, even, and that might not even be as bad as it could have been because dude let in four <laughs> like uh, so I, I don't really know what to say about him other than he needs to go hit the the range and or the pitch and 
figure it out. Catch the ball, man. We we can't be doing that. This is pro. He needs to relax. Um, what? He said he needs to relax. He looked nervous for some reason. Like he wasn't confident in his, his ability to keep the ball with him. He's like slipped out of his hands quite a bit. I guess age yeah, is getting I mean, up to him now. He definitely did not look uh, confident at all in this one. Um, so first, I guess, you know, big chance of the game. We, we get a goal that uh, it's maybe not the best goalkeeping in the world, but uh, Betcher pops up off of a corner, heads it, it bounces, and, uh, oh, who was their goalie? He didn't have the greatest evening in the world. Crippo. Crippo. Uh, he just kind of like almost gets a hand to it and it ends up in the back of the net and we're one nil up, man. I like Betcher. Yeah, he's he's really making it harder and harder for Klaus to uh, get that starting role back. I mean, you know, Klaus is obviously the higher paid player, our, one of our DPs, but I mean, you can't take Betcher out of the team. You can't. He scored, he scored three goals in four games. Is that right? I think that's correct, yeah. I mean, he's check. played five, so three and five. Even still, that's like the best form of any goal scorer on the team all year. <laughs> yeah. Um, John is right. Three and four. Three and four. Okay. Yeah, he's just. Uh, I mean, he he brings a different dynamic to the to the squad. Like he he is very much a a shithead forward. Like he is nudging people at the end of plays and like pissing them off. Um, just like making runs in behind effectively because he's not getting called off sides. He's just good, and that's what we need. I don't know if Klaus can really displace him right now with the form he's in. I don't know if it matters that much after drawing this. We kind of needed to get a dub here to, to kind of really start off our, our march towards playoffs if it was going to happen. But he's involved in the next play of note. Because he gets played through by, I believe it was, uh, two care and takes a nice touch out in front of him. And then he's one-on-one with the goalie. And the defender, I think it was it Araujo? Araujo, I think it was. The, yeah. Uh, he comes in late, forces a, a poor shot out of Betcher, who gets it away pretty quickly because he sees the incoming challenge. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but as much as this is a penalty, it is also a red card. Like, I think that the tackle is incredibly dangerous. He slides in two feet separated, like scissor kick tackle, and goes straight into his ankle. And if it was, like, actually planted, he would have just snapped his, like, ankle. Like, he would have broke his foot. And and I thought that we should have been a man up from this moment on, which would have been the 36th minute. And I don't think there's a way that we draw this game if we go up a man in the 36th minute. I feel like we still would because we did have time at the end to not draw the game with them having a man down, and they still managed to salvage something from this game, even though they had a man down for, what, 10, 10 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah. they. Uh, I mean, at the end, they the red card nine, is given to 95th, 90, 96, something like that. Um. Yeah, I mean, in like the bigger picture, I I hear. Yeah, I get I get what you mean. Like it's a yeah, longer game I, than. I just think it's so much time for us to like, just solidify our result. Um. I think that the the main issue I have right now is that Hackworth seems to think that we as a team are capable of defending. And we're not. <laughs> so, like, at the end of the game, he chucks on Indy, Horn, and Kojima. And, like, Indy and Kojima aren't going to, like, do anything other than, like, press and maybe get involved in a little bit of attacking play. And then Horn's nice. Like, that would have been a good addition um, to the back line. But we're just, like, trying to play for a, a, a win when we can't seem to to like play we we tried to park the bus that's what we and tried we to do can't. we like yeah. physically cannot do that at all 
every yeah. time I've seen us try to park the bus, it's impossible. Yeah, we've we've never had success with that. Uh, you know, Carnell tried it a few times. He would switch to five in the back. It still didn't help at all. I mean, I honestly, like, I would have rather we keep trying to score because that's when we looked dangerous in the first half, when we were uh, actually pressing cohesively, when we were actually, you know, making runs, trying to get, get in behind. I mean... We had a two zero. We had a two goal lead three different times this game, and we let them come back every time. So, yeah, yeah. So, in typical St. Louis fashion, right after Leuven bangs in the penalty, kudos to Leuven. That was an absolute blast uh, from the uh, from the penalty spot. Uh, they come down and score one, like two minutes later which is kind of the tale of our season, us not being prepared after we score a goal. Like we, I don't know how many times this season we've harped on it. It's just like the, the, the shaking hands, St. Louis city scoring, St. Louis city conceding shaking. Uh, hands. Hey, at least it. this time we scored right after conceding too, right before halftime. That is true. Um, we did see Rodriguez put one in the back of the net off of what was a pretty good ball from, uh, I believe it was... Mora. Mora, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, we go down the other end and off of a corner. Two care, just a nice little laced volley off the ground through a crowd of people, maybe takes a deflection, and uh, Crepo doesn't see it until too late, and it just kind of, like, passes him up. And we go up three to one heading into the half. And I know everyone at the, the Amsterdam was buzzing and the group chat was buzzing, but I, I did not like what I was seeing. I sent in the group chat, I can see this being like five to four at the end of it. Cause <laughs> like, we are just, we need some flex seal on our defense, we man. Need, I, I want to see back. like, we need like a yes. marquee signing center. I would get rid of Klaus and get a center back. I would like, Move him out. Get DP a, center back. DP, bro. You see, conceding four goals is actually insane when you look at the, the XG of both teams. Oh, Our XG dude. is one and a half. Their XG is four and a half. Like, well, and that's and they, that's the the like adjusted XG that we had to go seek out because we didn't like the other stats. Yeah. In the MLS statistics, the XG is five point six to one point nine which is fucking nuts, man. <laughs> like, I think a, well, a penalty XG is one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's I think like, it's the exact conversion rate of like penalties across all of soccer. So I think it's yeah, like I think a, it's 0. 0.7 a, or 0. 0.8. 0. 0.8, yeah. yeah Something like that. Had, I, can, I can check. We had a penalty, so let's say 0. 0.8. Our XG was still one and a half. We didn't do too much from open play, it seemed, according to the stats, but I know... At the same time, XG has a difficult time countering like counterattacks or anything like that. It usually gives it a lower XG. But I think offensively, we look good. We just need to be First not half. leaking defensively each game. That's it. And I think I'm not really too worried like how you were saying early, earlier about like our manager like figuring out. Because I hope he's not our manager. By the end of the year, I hope and we I don't, get someone else that's a bit better. I don't think he will be. Like I, I think the club knows that he is just intermediate, like temporary, um, and he will end up just going back to his old role, which is kind of like higher up. I think. Yeah. Um, Wasn't he some kind of like sporting director or like a like? in charge like under Lutz with like scouting and player development something like that I think so yeah I don't I, I don't think he he was the St. Louis manager, uh, I'm being honest St. Louis City yeah. team manager for a while oh really I, I wasn't that during our like next pro season before we like the season that before we had the club uh, since, I think he was the manager uh, since before Carnell January came in because I know Carnell ended up managing that next pro team like at the end of the once we had like mm. actually hired him on but it might have been hackworth prior to that it yeah, says I think uh, right. from january 1st 2022 to the end of that year okay gotcha yeah so 
he... Well, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely helped us through this time. And I think he's helped make us feel more comfortable in possession. I don't know how much of that is signings versus, you know, his Manager. specific game plan. Obviously, they probably have a lot of overlap there. But, yeah, um, yeah I mean, I don't think he's been terrible, but I do agree – yeah, time to uh, hire a real yeah. manager. If I'm St. Louis City. I'm the owners. There's a specific team here also in the Midwest I, I will be looking at to emulate them, and that's uh, Columbus Crew. Um, they don't spend that much money. They probably have the best manager in the MLS. He seems like he just knows how to win, and like during the playoffs, League Cup, Concacaf they just Champions. took League Cup, yeah. Like, he, he, bro, this dude owns, Wilford Nancy owns League MX teams, it seems. Like, any time going in there, beats them, lower budget, like, by a lot. And I Doesn't think matter. that's what we need to emulate as a small, like, a smaller market team. Like, because we're not going to get those big name signings. We're not going to get these people, like, we're going to get Marco people, Royce. you know, like, we're not going to get those people. So we need to, like, figure out how to find like specific talent and utilize that and like win trophies because in the, the day that's what we want to do yeah i think let's had a uh, a comment the other day on during some kind of press i conference, saw that basically mm-hmm. saying like if if a player wants to come to the mls but they only want to go to la miami or New like York. one of the california teams mm-hmm. they're here on holiday and to a certain degree that's true like Marco Royce, he don't give a fuck about soccer anymore. Like, he's going to go play and make racks, but it's just a job, I think, at this point. Like, he, he, you know, served his club Dortmund forever, and he's gone, and now he's on holiday in L.A., and I don't blame him. I'd love to be there, too. And he's probably getting a nice little paycheck. Oh, for sure. To go take it easy. Oh, and by the way, the XG on a penalty is .79. Point seven. Nine. So, I I think yes. it's always just exactly what the conversion rate is. So it's ever changing based on like you know guys missing and making penalties. Um. But yeah, I mean we we get out of the half. Mora puts one in the net. Uh, is that the? Yeah, that's I think that's the, the header, header back. Header. Yeah, from Evander. It's it's just like a ball whipped into the back post. Evander heads it back to the middle and Mora just taps it off of his head. Evander then, dunked on uh Evander dunked on Jaden Reed at the back post, but he, it's always hard to like jump backwards and up and win that header as a defender, so yeah. yeah. Whatever. I think that as much as we can discredit our defenders, the next goal I think is is the one that really kills us cuz we we seriously Well, we score to. first. Yeah, that's true. We do go back up, um, like, immediately after the... Yeah, one minute uh, later. One minute after the Mora goal, there was, like, a shot in the first half where Thorson kind of comes in off of the right-hand side and bangs it with his left, and it gets saved by Krepo. And he does the exact same thing and just curls it beautifully into the uh, the left side of the net. And we're kind of... I, I feel like we're really seeing him, like, kind of play well now like it's not even like he's good in our shitty team he's like kind of a meaningful member of the attack at this point like he's not as good as any of the other ones but he doesn't look completely out of place whereas when i see indy out there i think he's like quite a ways below where where thorison is right now like i feel like we've waited on indy to score a goal like that for years and he's only well he scored that one yeah he had that one really nice goal but um, oh, man, I just lost my train of thought. Sorry. Well, it was Go against ahead. Real Salt Lake. We walked out, and he scored that banger, like, right off the right-hand side. Um, and just, you know, we thought, oh, this is going to be a fun game. We're going to have a good time here. And then they put, like, four past us or something yeah. ridiculous. I don't I don't remember the exact scoreline, but it was not pretty after that. Um, yeah. But, yeah, we get the I was, Thoris and I was going to say – the I remember when Thorson signed with us and I saw his highlight tape and he was scoring goals like that in his highlight tape. And I feel like that's what we've been waiting on from him. Oh, and yeah. you just said 
I feel like Indy is miles below Thor. Like, imagine saying that when Thor first started playing at the yeah. at the point in time where you know Indy was a regular starter. He looked like one of our better players. We wanted him to be playing the ten, and now it's like complete change. Well, I honestly think if Indy had to start in like holding midfield, I wouldn't hate it. Like, I kind of like him there. He's got tidy feet. He just when he gets on the attack, he seems to like run out of ideas, ideas, and like just run into people sometimes. Yeah. Which is, yeah. We've we've seen from Thorson and plenty of our players. Like they're all just like, you know, not the most creative gents in the in the world, but. I'm just happy with where Thorson is kind of going and the development of him as a player at St. Louis City. It's it's moving in the right direction because, I mean, I think he used to play off the left typically at his old yeah. club. And now we have him out on the right and he's banging in goals with his left when I think he's right-footed. I can go check that to make sure. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure he's right-footed and yeah. he's like confidently going in off of his, his onto his left foot. Um, I think we all know hold our hands up for him because we all kind of disrespected him a lot on this podcast making oh, fun yeah. of him constantly um, no, we were shitting on him for a long yeah, time he has proved us wrong and i'm happy he has like he's doing wonderful and it's probably going to be a starter next year so far so Ooh, that brings that brings me to a question i was just thinking of um whenever alm is back you guys think he's taking Thor's spot or no? Whoever is Celio's back, what he about to do? Where he playing? Well, Celio, we're not going to see till next year, but I think Alm is Almost like one or two weeks back. out. Yeah. I would say since he just got hurt, I don't know what's the likelihood of us making the – I know we're 10 points off from ninth. Um, two games – if we don't, if we don't, like we lose two next two games or whatever, then just kind of ease him way back in because there's no point of playing him if we're not making the playoffs just to, for him. Because usually after injuries, you more likely to hurt yourself. So yeah, just relax, just get your fitness level up. I wouldn't, you know, rush into anything. No, I don't think it's necessary. I I wouldn't be surprised if we do that with him and with uh, Klaus, like. With the way Betcher's playing, there's no reason to, like, rush him back into the squad. And this is two years straight where he's missed a pretty significant amount of time. Um, What's so, his injury right now? Because I know last year was hamstring. Um, do we right even... now, he has a knee injury. Mm, it doesn't specify good. exactly what it is. Yeah, um, still not good, but at least it's not the same not injury. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm honestly more concerned with this than the hamstring. Because knee injuries, like... I don't know. I've had one. It's not fun. Like yeah. you, you sometimes you just don't feel the same for a long, long time if it's like really bad. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're they're both supposed to come back. Um, I guess. Do you like think Celio thing. takes Thor's spot next year? I think once everyone's healthy. I think what's gonna happen? We get a new manager, and there's gonna be people gone. I think that's I, what's gonna happen, and so I can't say for sure, but I would start Celio. I I just like how he plays, and I would start him. But I agree. He, he's he wants to take people on, and that's something we don't have in this team right now. Um, like in terms of like a, an effective dribbler from the wing, Thorson, as much as he's improved, he's not somebody that's like doing a few stepovers and beating somebody for pace or like shooting down to the byline and whipping a ball back in. He is still a bit one-dimensional he hangs out on the right hand side and either plays a cross in or cuts it back onto his left and hits it um Celio just offers a very different dynamic but th that's also Hartel's position I don't know I, Hartel's got a lot of positional flexibility so we could see him pushed further into the middle and like two carat goes up top or something like that but I don't know Betcher's on yep. loan so that might be the long-term plan is to put two carat up top and play him as an actual striker but mm. I see Hartel. These are good problems. These year. are exciting problems for me, because yeah, I, once, you know, 
season's kind of chalked. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the first half when we were winning three to one, I had I like, real. Oh, I was like, man, we're coming back. We're making the playoffs. And then you know we we bottle it and we tie the game four is. four. It's like, yeah, man, a, we're not making the playoffs. It's a dark time for St. Louis sports, guys. So. <laughs> the delusion is gone after. Yeah, last we got. Game. No, we the, got the delusion never gone until I see on Twitter St. Louis out. <laughs> I'm believing every single step of the way. I'm still going to get stressed well, out every week. Don't matter. All right, let's 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 wrap this game up. Um, 95th minute, Chris Durkin goes in, takes a header, and Mora's on his back, shoves him, throws him to the ground, and then as he's, like, on the ground, I, he, like, kicks him in his fucking head. Like, what are we doing, man? get this guy off the pitch straight red card see you later um and then this is where like why are we parking the bus we are up a man we don't have to park the bus and i know it's a crazy thought but we look like we were down a man for the last 10 minutes of that game well i'm not gonna lie i do feel like with the subs that hackworth made we kind of were left no choice because if you look at who our forwards are we have indy up top and then we have Kojima and Hartel. I mean, there's no number nine, right? No yeah. one who can hold up the ball. I, I mean, I don't know. Sofa yeah, score says that. Entire... I was gonna say Sofa score says that Betcher was injured, which I didn't catch that in the game. I didn't either. Um, Maybe he had a but, or something. Just. Yeah, I mean, uh, taking Thorson, Toyker, and Betcher off just. Sets us up to park the bus. Ship. Yeah. <laughs> like, really, really puts us in a bind. Like, those are the players that have changed our season. Yeah. Um, except for Hartel. Like, I think he I don't. tried to go, you know, park the bus. Just didn't work out. Um, that free kick was nice. So, can't really yeah. blame anybody for that. He I was, I was dreading getting to that one. Yeah, he just. Evander. He went out with an injury in the 3-1 win in the League's Cup within, like, the first 30 minutes. And I was like, thank God. Because <laughs> he is really good. Yeah. Um, he is – he – I mean, he had, what, a goal and two assists or something like that on the day? I think a goal and two assists, yeah. Yeah. And, and the goal is a 99th minute free kick or something ridiculous. Yeah, yeah Berkey was dapping him up after the game. They swapped jerseys. Yeah, Berkey should have been fucking he said, spitting on his gloves and uh, run up, rubbing them together until fire happened because he was, like, not able to catch anything. And <laughs> I'm I'm still a bit pissed Salty. off about that. But you I guys guess, know I'm, I'm a Berkey slanderer yeah, at heart. I guess Berkey <laughs> out now. We, we, we got to go get a new goalkeeper. I honestly... Whenever he does call it quits, which I don't want him to, he's he's better than Lunt. But I think Lunt is, like, adequate for this league. Like, I mm -hmm. think if he was starting week in, week out, we would be like, he's pretty good. Like, yeah. I don't think we would call for his, his head anytime soon if he was starting every week. Unfortunately, we're um, going to get Keppa instead. So, that's a... No, I think that Keppa. dude's going to burn myth if... Uh... No, that's just all alone, but he's coming Oh, soon. okay. All right. Well, we'll see. I I really I don't want not. to use our DP spot in St. Louis on a goalkeeper again. Um, let's get a good goalie and then a great center back or something so that we can actually help him out because Berkey was is fighting for his life every week in this squad. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably the reason he's not very confident, is that every single time they get the ball, he's like, fuck. He's, he's kind of scared. He's just like, fuck, we're conceding. Again. I'm cooked. <laughs> just like, it's about to happen. Um, So, you know, 4-4 four, four draw. It's not the end of the world, but it is not good, considering we still have the least amount of wins in the West. The second worst goal difference... And we are 10 points off of ninth place. Uh, we've got how many games are in this season? 34? No, I think. Is that correct? Honestly, it's a bit. Uh, am I, 36, am I 38. And we look like I want to say 36. frogs here. <laughs> Hurry, someone Google it. 
Dude, I'm in. I have like prem brain on because we're back on that, and I'm like. Oh. I just don't. It's like. Thirty-six. Okay. I'm just gonna okay. Thirty-six. 36. Well, we've got. Okay. I'll I'll find the statistic, but we've got about ten games left, like here or there. Yeah. Are we making the playoffs? No. Yeah, it's thirty-four. Sorry, it's less than ten games. It's See, I was right the first time. I remember. Thirty-four. It's thirty-four. <laughs> Well, um, we've got eight games man. left. I'm going to show this up. Are we making the playoffs? It depends on the next game. This is going to be our toughest game. No, also. we need to just admit that no, we're not no, making no, playoffs. No, 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 Jonah, When there is delusion, there is hope. <laughs> we will make this happen. Okay? Listen. All listen, we must we'll do rise is from the believe. Ashes. But, but, like, but like, what, what, do you, what do you like better? Giving in already or thinking that we make the playoffs, we win every single game, and we're the champions by the end of the year. What's better? Man, knowledge it about sounds that? so simple. That is Mo, simple. Y you of all people should know, it's the hope that kills you, man. No, I have a it's gambling. Dope. Every week I bet on St. Louis City to win. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea, but <laughs> especially considered our form this season. Considering we have four wins of twenty-six games, I'm you always been convinced a lot that of we're going to win this game. I'm always convinced. <laughs> I mean, we've got L.A. at home. L.A. Galaxy. I'm going to be out at a lake watching on my phone, but this is the problem. what, what are we thinking here, boys? L.A. Let's Galaxy <laughs> just added Marco Royce to their team. Who, well, in his debut, scored an, got a goal and an, an assist, assist. In 25 minutes. As a but substitute. <laughs> he's going to be shaking when he comes here because Berkey knows all his moves. So he's not worried mm, about it. True, Berkey true. Knows he's gonna, he's going to say some shit to him. He'll be like, hey, where's your Champions League at? And he's going to be all sad and shit. Goes, and then Royce is going to be like, where's yours? Yeah, and then Royce is going to be like, all right, Butterfinger, shut up. He's going to show, show him a picture of Jude Bellingham. Pipe down, buddy. They sold you. I stayed there for 20 years. And, and, but you guys imagine this, though. Mark, Marcus Royce, Marco Royce comes in. Puts on his Instagram, this place is shit. And oh, dude, he does the coming. Noni Matueke? If he does that on us, he can't leave the city. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I will drive back. I'm if not... I see that tweet come out before the game or, like, the Instagram story or something, I will drive back from the lake I'm at and, like, armor up. Let's just say that. I'll be waiting outside the stadium. I will be invading Los Angeles. On horseback. But he's not staying at the Four Seasons. He's staying at the Four Feet Deep in the Mississippi River. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Well, they are uh, top of the West. Number one in the West. Is that a hey. Eastern Conference? Oh, no. Miami's better than them. It's okay. Right. They we're, are we're once number two. Top of not the, the West. best in the league, but they are. Hey, Mo. Actually, great point. We were once top oh, of the really? West. And guess what happened? You see how quick the fall off comes? And guess what happened? We still lost to bottom feeder Kansas City. So, you never know what happens in a game. That's you never know true. what happens I... at City Park. Hey, man, City Park. You know, <laughs> it's it's a fortress. It is. I mean, we do have a pretty impeccable home record over the course of our first two seasons. It's like 16, 7, and 8 or something like that. Like, we don't lose often at home. Also, um, anytime we play LA Galaxy... It's usually a tie. Like majority of the times, we tie them. Three three draw earlier this score. season. Yeah, this high score. Even game. with our shit players. We need Chris Durkin to severely injure Ricky Pooj. That's all I want to see. Nah, that is not the player I want him to injure. You rather him injure Marco Royce? I want him to end no. him then and there. I I think Marco Royce might not start this game. Oh, Marco Ro or Ricky Pooj oh. is suspended. Let's go! Yeah, he got a red card. He's out. <laughs> Wait, um, he got a red card last game? That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, let me see the, the, the LA Galaxy lineup. What's his name? Is it Paintsel? Oh, I think my we gotta God. Kill, I think we got to kill Paintsel. I think you forgot about him. But <laughs> I just had PTSD. He, yeah, he, he, was, he was turning... Uh, what's it called? Uh, who did we just sell? Denver... Uh, left back Markanic. he was turning Markanic inside out like <laughs> fucking 
no other that game. He like started on the left hand side and looked at Mark Hannigan and was like, I'm going to the right. <laughs> <laughs> and cooked so hard. You know I wanted um, to see the kill in that game? John Nelson. Oh, shit. Is he even a starter for that one? Bro, no Put way. Him in. Put him oh, in for he did just start minutes. last game. I think he does start from time to time. I don't know if he's a, a, a regular starter, but... That's crazy. Go check the last few games. Well, I'm going to boo him when I see him. No, he, he, hasn't, he didn't start consecutive games. I'm gonna buy a ticket. I think right it behind. was I think it was Leaks Cup rotation that got him into the squad. Oh, I know. Oh. I'm buying a ticket right behind their bench, and I'm talking. Pooja also had yellow card accumulation, not a straight red. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Well, either way, doesn't matter to me. Get this dude off the field. Tucked in shirt merchant. Fuck that guy. Um, what's the score prediction, boys? Three two. St. Louis wins. <laughs> What did you say, Jonah? 2-2? Two, two? I said 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. Two. Late game winner, I... Berkey header. <laughs> you think we're sending Berkey up in the uh, 90th, 90th minute, minute of a league game? Then he's going to look at Shit, look I guess what Royce the hell go... got to lose? Right. Hackworth got nothing to lose. He's probably going to be like, fuck it, send him up. Fuck it. Get um, up there, buddy. Get up there. Um, I kind of like the 3-2, I'm not going to lie. I, I think it's going to be a close affair as it typically is i don't know we we sometimes just really rise up and play to the level of the competition from time to time uh miami la galaxy earlier this year even though they weren't as good when mm -hmm. we played them the first time around yeah i i, I think i'm gonna go three two st louis city um yes, that's probably sir. the delusion speaking but part of me is with you mom and it is the hope that kills you but What's life without hope, yeah, you know? Lose, we're out of the playoffs, and I'm stress-free for the entire six, exactly. seven more weeks. And then we just get to worry about, like, Cardinals are done for. Uh, no, they're not They're not done for, too. They're not done. Well, well Point. We'll see. 3% chance of making the playoffs. Don't hold on to that shit. Uh, I think. So you're saying Louis there's a chance. Has, so there's, you're saying there's a chance. If it's not zero. Hey, Dave, you're, there's hey, a chance. There's a chance. Um. Well, let's hope we can get it get the job done at City Park. You know, it'd be an, it'd be a good welcome home for the the squad to get a dub over the number one team in the West. Maybe start their slide and then maybe start our our rise from uh, the ashes. Ascend you know, from the you never know. You boys got anything else for this one? The sun will shine on us again. That's all I gotta say. I don't. Make have sure anything. to like. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Soul of the City. And uh, let's hope we get a dub on Saturday. Peace. Thank you for watching this episode of Soul of the City, brought to you by First Touch Media and Anchor FM. Make sure to check us out on YouTube at First Touch Media, and all of our socials are at First Touch 314. Thank you for watching.